I have you here this close to me today for two reasons. The first one being just to say hello. I hope you all are doing fine. I'm good because I'm sure you asked if I how I was doing. I'm doing pretty good. And the second reason is for you to feast your eyes on this. Are you feasting? Because I feel like you're not. If you need to pause the video, please feel free and take this image in. Just absorb it into your mind right now. This is Grendel. A little backstory to our friend um, Grendel here is Noah, my brother, is in an English class right now and they are beginning to read the book Beowulf. His homework assignment was to draw a picture of Grendel and because I'm such a nice sister I decided that I would help him out by drawing this picture for him. This is the picture he gave me though as a start. But I'm going to tell you a little story about my friend here, Grendel, prior to the whole Beowulf book. Let me put him down. He's down. Grendel, as you saw, he has little arms and is a little misunderstood. Because he didn't have a father when he was hatched, conceived, born, split from his mother, he needed a male role model in his life. But as he grew up, his mother, bless her heart, tried so hard to make sure that he knew everything he needed to know to be a real strong man. Although he has a big head and very little arms and can't do very many push-ups because he can't reach the ground when laying down, only his head touches it as he's trying to do a push-up, he's able to be a man. Not only was he born in the ocean, he had somewhat of a Scottish accent. Don't know why. I think he hung out with the Loch Ness Monster a lot because they're both water creatures. In his secondary school, he is the talk of the town. Everyone wanted to be friends with him. Everyone, including all of the ladies. It's where he met this girl that he really likes. Her name's Ariel. She's a little awkward too. Maybe a little hypertensive, a little. She's always going all over the place. However, it's not the same Ariel that you are probably thinking of. The red-headed mermaid from The Little Mermaid. The girl that I'm talking about was the opposite of Grendel. She had really, really long arms and a tiny, tiny, tiny head. This big. Grendel and Ariel, not the Little Mermaid Ariel, but the other mermaid Ariel, really liked each other. Grendel was too much of a gentleman to actually say something, and Ariel she wanted Grendel to make the first move. You can see the relationship probably wasn't going anywhere. Grendel, going to the lunchroom, was hoping Ariel was waiting for him to sit with her, but she was sitting with the Loch Ness Monster. Grendel got a little sad. He carries his feelings in his satchel, his satchel of things. So he breaks through the school doors and starts running home to his mother, saying, Mom will, Mom protect me. Protect me from the Loch Ness Monster who's trying to steal my girl. Grendel's mom says, Grendel darling, it's okay. She wasn't worth your time. You're too good for Ariel. She has long arms that when she walks, they drag in her little head. You would squish her little head when you try to just, just move her hair out of her face. Grendel was sad, even more sad than before. He lost it. He ran up to his bedroom and started crying, saying, why, why on earth doesn't Ariel, not the Little Mermaid Ariel, but the Ariel that I'm talking about, like me? What's wrong with me? Eventually, Ariel came to her senses. She used her super long arms to knock. Like, here's, here's to the window. She went like, looked up. Saw Ariel's arm, opened the window, looked down. Ariel was standing there with Loch Ness, saying, Grendel, I'm sorry, but me and Loch Ness are together now and I can't hang out with you anymore because Loch Ness told me not to. And I just really like Loch Ness and I used to like you, but you didn't make a move, so I'm going out with Loch Ness now. And Grendel was sad. And this is when Grendel becomes the Grendel in Beowulf. He puts his feelings 
that he used to have in his satchel, locked it up, and never opened them again. And that's the story of Grendel, the picture I drew. That one over there. Yeah. Okay, bye!